Hello Excellers, this is another conditional formatting video and it's in response to a question I got asked, which is a really good question, and that is how can we highlight dates that occur between two dates? So in this case, what they wanted to do was anything between 24 and 28 days before it expired needed to be highlighted. So what I've done here is if you look at the conditional formatting here, um, you'll see that after 24 days is the 19th of June and before the 28 days up is the 23rd of June. So I've set them to come up in red. Okay, so let me explain how I did it. Um, this number of days column here, I've just added as a bit of a test to see if it's working. So we can see here, there's the 24 days that's come up in red, 27 days has come up red and 26 days has come up in red. So I'll also show you how to do that. So let's take this back to the basics and we'll talk you through how we got to this point. So here we are, we've got the basic spreadsheet. So we're going to start by putting our parameters in. Now you can include these in the conditional formatting but I actually prefer to put them on the spreadsheet and that also helps other people understand what's going on as well rather than if they're buried in the formula or buried in the conditional formatting, they're hard to find. So we're going to start off by putting today's date in. So do you remember the formula for that was equals today? Open bracket, close bracket. So that's the first one. Now what we want to do is we want, so tomorrow that will display the date tomorrow. Now we want to move 24 days on from this, from today's date. And I do go into the dates a little bit more depth in other conditional formatting videos, so do go back and have a look at them and I'll put a link in the comments to them. But let's move on 24 days, so we're going to say equals, we're going to click on today's date and we're going to plus 24, so that's going to take today's date plus 24. Okay, that will go into the 19th of June. Now we want to find out when 28 days are passed, so we're going to do equals, we're going to use today's date again plus and we're going to say 28 okay so there are my parameters set up now because the date today's date is in h2 it's going to make my formula dynamic because that date will change every day which means h3 will change and h4 will change okay so that's the first bit i've set my parameters up now what we want to do is we want to highlight all the expiries and we're going to set the conditional formatting up. So we're going to go to conditional formatting. We're going to go to manage rules. And we go to new rule. And we're going to say use um, a formula. Sorry, no, we're not we're going to say formula. So only format cells that contain. And we're going to say the cell value between. So now I want to pick the two dates. So I'm going to select H3 and my second date which is H4. So I've selected, I'm going to select those two cells and I'm going to put a format in. So let's make this one orange. Choose OK. Choose OK. And choose OK. So there we go. So that's picking up everything between 24 and 28 days. Now if I wanted to, I could add one. Maybe I wanted to pick up anything that was less than 24. So I just go back into conditional formatting, um, new rule, and I'd say uh, based on their value. So let's go use a formula to determine, and we'll say that today's date is, uh, let's go, 